Hello everyone, I am Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks and today we're going to be making a milling station cart. It'll be a cart that holds my planer and my joiner. So the first thing we're going to do, the first thing you need to do is head over to my website at rockyriverwoodworks.com. You can download a cut sheet of what we're going to be using to make this. Um, we can make pretty much the whole thing, if not the whole thing, out of one single sheet of plywood um, based on my measurements. I have a lunchbox style planer and a small six inch joiner um, just because I don't use them all that much. Um, my previous setup in my shop, I had them mounted basically permanently in a position um, in my shop, but I needed the space more than I not, more than I needed the permanent um, affix, you know, where they were. So I'm going to be making a mobile cart that contains both of them. We're using, I'm using a four by eight sheet of three quarter inch oak plywood. The first cut we need to make is 36 inches in from the end. After we make that cut, we're going to make another cut that's 36 inches again also. So let's get started cutting. Now that we have our 36 inch wide pieces ripped down, we're gonna make our side panels. Um, as you can see, following the cut sheet, the first section of 36 inch, we're gonna cut down to 23 and a quarter. I'm gonna rip this down on the table saw. Um, and then I'll just follow the cut sheet, keep, keep ripping down the various parts that we need for this project. All right, I have all of my pieces cut. I'm gonna begin assembly. Um, the parts for the drawers, so here we have a drawer front, two drawer sides, a drawer back, and then the drawer bottom panel here. I'm gonna set aside just for now. Um, I'm gonna be working on the main carcass of the cabinet. And you could do this with pocket hole joinery, you could do it with rabbits, whatever you want. Um, I'm actually just gonna use wood screws. It's just a cart for the shop, so I'm not as worried about the appearance and exposed screw heads. So now that the parts are cut, I'm gonna begin assembly. All right, the box for our cart is now complete. Um, it's not completely stable. We'll add some braces shortly. Now I'm gonna work on drill, building the drawer boxes. Typically you would build a drawer box um, with pocket holes, but again, it's just a shop cart. I'm gonna use butt joints with wood screws. So let's work on building some drawer boxes. All right, so now that our drawer boxes are made, we're gonna lay out the um, drawer slides inside of our carcass. And we wanna make sure that, you know, one's pretty low and one's about halfway or so. Um, we're gonna take measurements on everything just to keep it equal. And then I'm gonna use the Craig drawer slide jig to help um, with this process of installing the drawer slides.
Now the drawers are installed. You could add a drawer front on here if you want with a handle. Um, I probably will do that eventually, but for right now, I'm just gonna leave it like it is. Like I said, it's just a shop cart. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is add some two by four runners on the bottom. That'll give me something a little bit beefier to drill in um, casters. I'm gonna install some two inch locking swivel casters to make it mobile. And then I'm gonna go through probably in the front and in the back and just add on the inside a couple of two by fours attached to this frame just to give it some extra rigidity. All right, it's down and dirty. The braces don't look good, but it's okay. You won't see them, especially if I decide to put uh, drawer fronts on here. Again, I'm just gonna leave it open for now because I don't necessarily have a plan as far as what I'm gonna put in here to store, um, but I'll come up with a plan eventually, I, I'm sure. So um, we're good to go. I'm gonna get it down off the bench, mount my planer and my joiner on here, and we'll be done. All right, I now have my planer and my joiner mounted on here. Um, the drawers are in the front there. It's completely mobile. They're heavy duty casters. Once locked, the cart does not move at all. That's almost doesn't move just with one of them locked. So once I lock all of them, it stays in place, which is super important for a planer and a joiner. I like this car also because of the height of it. I think it's a perfect height. Um, it's just an overall, I think, gonna be a useful piece of shop furniture. The dust collection's on the same side so that my hose can, you know, I don't have to worry about moving it around. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. You can find this project and more on my website at www.rockyriverwoodworks.com. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and other social media networks at RockyRiverWW. I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Thank you for watching.